Welcome to the slow down blanket pattern. This is dedicated to all mothers and fathers who love, care, and value every moment spent with their children. You may use any size of yarn and hook that matches that yarn size for this pattern. I'm going to be using a slightly bulkier weight this time and a size six crochet hook. Mine are all in acrylic. So let's get started. On the written pattern, you will find notes for suggestions of where to change colors if you prefer to highlight certain parts of this pattern. Um, the designer used a slow changing or gra gradient yarn, but color controlled the parts in this middle section. I will be somewhat following that as well for the first part of the middle section, or you can choose to work it all in one color or just let the colors flow right from the beginning. So that choice is up to you. <clears throat> so round one, starting with the lightest color, we're going to make a magic ring, chain three, which will count as a double crochet, and we'll make 15 double crochet into the ring. One, two, 14, and 15 double crochet and we can slip stitch to the top of our chain three and tighten the magic ring. Round one has 16 stitches. Round two, continuing with the same color, we'll chain one, which does not count as a stitch, single crochet into that same stitch as our join from last round chain one. Then we'll work around each stitch with a single crochet, chain one. All the way around. So you will have 16 single crochet and 16 chain one spaces. When you get around you will join to our starting single crochet and if you wish to, wish to change colors you can fasten off. Round three if you're continuing with the same color, you will chain one and make a front post single around the same stitch. Or if you're joining a new color, you can join in the same space if you want. I am going to just start with a front post single around any of the single crochet from round two. Front post single. Then we'll single crochet into that chain one space. between the singles from last round. And then working down onto row one, we want to make a front post double around the next double crochet of row one. So the hook went from the front around the back of that double to pull up our loop, yarn over, pull through two twice to finish that front post double. Then we'll skip that next single crochet behind the double and single crochet into that next chain one space. Okay, so we'll do this again. This is our repeat. So front post single around the next single of round two, single crochet in that chain one space. Front post double around the next double on round one. So we'll be skipping a double in between Finishing that front post double, skipping that single behind and single crochet into that next chain one space. So you'll repeat that around and I'll meet you just before the end of this round. So when you've worked those repeats around, there will be eight of these front post double crochet, skipping one double in between each on that round one. And then there'll also be eight of these front post single crochet and 16 single crochets for a total of 32 stitches. We can go ahead and join to our starting front post single crochet. To end round three. Round four, continuing with the same color 
our I am continuing with the same color or you can switch to a new color we're going to work a starting pop into the top of the front post single crochet so pop stands for a popcorn stitch so a starting one we start with a chain three that counts as our first double crochet and we make four more double crochet into that same stitch two oops two three and four we remove the loop from our hook go into the top of the chain three with our hook put the loop back on our hook and pull through to make the popcorn and we close with a chain one which does not count as a stitch then we will double crochet into this next stitch chain one and we're skipping all of the front post double crochet and then starting for our repeat it's a double crochet in the next stitch five double crochet popcorn in the next so that's one we'll make four more double crochet in that same stitch for a total of five doubles I have three four and five remove the loop from our hook find the first double of the group of five so we don't want to grab that other double just the first of the five doubles insert our hook in the top put the loop back on pull through to make the popcorn chain one to close and double crochet in the stitch right beside the popcorn chain one so we'll work that repeat all the way around remembering the chain one and skipping the front post double and a double on either side of the popcorn and then I will meet you just at the end of this round so once you've worked that all the way around after our last double crochet chain one we'll skip the front post double and then we can place a double crochet in the last stitch of this round and go ahead and join to our starting stitch so I like to find sort of that middle or the eye of the popcorn to insert and slip stitch to close if you are continuing on using the same color for round five you can jump ahead and work that round now there is a decoration round that if you're changing colors anyway for round five it's easier to work the decoration now at this point so that's what I will be doing fastening off so there should be the eight popcorns 16 double crochet in the eight chain one spaces so we're going to be working this decoration part around the stitches of round four it's suggested to go down a hook size to work this part we want to start with a single crochet in a popcorn stitch so again I find that center of the popcorn stitch to insert my hook and make a single crochet then we'll make a pico so we chain three then we're going to slip stitch we want to insert our hook in this top loop of the single crochet we just made and the far side leg or loop and pull through the loop on our hook for a slip stitch chain four and then come down to the front post double crochet insert your hook and make sure you're going to work in front of the chain one from last round and just work in that skipped front post double for a single crochet and chain four so we'll continue that all the way around single crochet in the popcorn make the pico which is a chain three insert in the top of the single and that far leg to make your slip stitch chain four work the single crochet in that front post double chain four and so on so I'll continue to let you work that decoration all the way around and I will meet you at the end of this round when you've worked the decoration all around it will look something like this after that last chain four we want to slip stitch to our starting single crochet 
because we've worked that pico, it's a bit tricky getting into the top loops. So what we can do is go in between the two legs or that V of the post of the single crochet to pull our yarn through and slip stitch. And then you can just fasten off. Now, if you are continuing with the same color, if you've chosen to do that, what you're going to do is remove your hook from that loop, insert it on the other side of the pico from the back under that chain four, put the loop back on, and twist it to the back so you're behind that pico to continue on. If you're changing colors like I am, you can just fasten off this decorative color and sew in your ends. So for round five, we're going to single crochet into the top of a popcorn stitch of round four. So we will not be working into the decorative color at all. We will be working into round four. So right where you had finished off your popcorn, if you're continuing with the same color, you will single crochet into that same popcorn where we put our single crochet and continue on. If you're starting a new color, you can just start with a single crochet in any of those popcorn and I'm going to work just beside the single crochet that we put in the popcorn with the pico last round. So single crochet in the top of a popcorn. We'll skip this next double crochet of round four and then into that chain one space we're going to work seven double crochet. One, two, three, so seven double crochet in that chain one space behind the decoration. And we'll single crochet into that next popcorn. And sub continue with seven double crochet into that next chain one space. So I'll let you continue that all the way around. And again, I'll meet you at the end of this round. So when you have finished the final repeat, of those seven double crochet, we will just join to our starting single crochet to end this round. It will be a total of 64 stitches and I'm going to continue in the same color so don't fasten off. Round six, starting with a chain one and using the same color, this chain one does not count as a stitch. We're going to work front post single crochet followed by back post single crochet in the next seven. So it'll be a front post single crochet around the single crochet from last round. And then around each of the seven double crochet, we will work a back post single. One, so entering from the back to the front around the post of the next double crochet out to the back to pull the loop through and then yarn over to complete a single crochet. So we'll work back post single around each of the seven double crochet. Oops. Oops it's five for me, six, and seven. And then ready to start with that front post single around the single crochet and the back post singles around each of the doubles. So you can continue to repeat that around joining to the start of our front post single and fastening off. So round six there will be 64 stitches. Round seven Continuing with the same color, you would chain one, which does not count as a stitch, 
and single crochet into that same stitch. If you're joining with a new color, you can join with a single crochet in any of the front post singles from last round. So after our first single crochet, we want to back post single around each of the next seven stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven back post single crochet. Then in the next stitch, we want to single crochet. So that's in the front post single, we'll single crochet, chain two, and single crochet into that same stitch. Back post single around the next seven. One, oops, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And we'll just continue that around. Single crochet, chain two single crochet in the front post singles and back post single around each of the next seven stitches. And then I will join you just before we finish this round. So after our last repeat of the seven back post single and we meet up to our joining stitch, we want to work one more single in the same stitch as our starting single. And instead of chain two this time, we will do a chain one, single crochet into the top of that single crochet, which will act as a chain two and get us in the right placement for starting the next round. If you're going to be changing colors, you can instead work a chain two and slip stitch to the start. The so round seven then has 72 stitches and eight chain two spaces. For round eight, if you're joining a new color, you will start in any of the chain two spaces, either with a double crochet or a chain three to act as a double crochet. If you are starting where we left off, we will chain three and then in that chain two space, so under in, this, in the chain one we made last round under that single crochet, in that space there, we will place two more double crochet. Chain one. We're going to skip four stitches. <clears throat> so one, two, three, four. The next stitch, we're going to make a back post single crochet around it. Chain one and skip the next four stitches. And then into that chain two space again, we will make three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet. So that's one, two, three double crochet, chain two, and three double crochet in that same chain two space. Chain one, we'll skip four stitches. So the first stitch is that single crochet, just past the chain two, it's quite hidden. So one, two, three, four. And we'll single crochet around this next one. We're back post a single crochet around that next single. Chain one, skip those next four stitches and ready to work those three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet in that chain two space. So continue to repeat that all the way around and again I'll meet you just before the joining. 
So after your last set of three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet, and the back post single, we have chained one. We'll want to make three more double crochet in that same space as our starting stitches. One, two, and three. And then to finish off, you will chain one and single crochet in the top. Now, if you are changing colors and you wish, you can chain two and fasten off with a slip stitch as regularly. If you're continuing with the same color, for sure you'll want to do this join with a chain one and single crochet in the top. So round eight has 56 stitches in the eight to chain two spaces plus 16 chain one spaces. So round nine, if we're changing colors, I found it easiest to do my last pull through of that single crochet join with my new color and then chain two. If you're continuing with the same color, just chain, chain two from where we joined. We will skip these three double crochet and the chain one space, and then in that back post single, we want to make three popcorn stitches. So the popcorn is five double crochet, so that's one, two, here's three, four, and five double crochet. Remove the loop from the hook, insert hook in that first double, put the loop back on and pull through. Chain one to close does not count as a stitch. Then we will chain one and work a second popcorn in that same back post single crochet. Chain one and then work our third popcorn. Remove the loop from the hook, insert in the first double, pull the loop through, chain one to close for our three popcorns. Then we will chain two, and we'll skip the chain one space and the three doubles. When we get to that chain two in between the sets of three double crochet, we don't want to work into the space, but we're going to slip stitch in each of those chains and then chain two again, skipping the three doubles and the chain one, we'll work those three popcorn in the next back post single. So you can go ahead and work that around and I'll meet you just before we finish this round. So after your last set of three popcorn, we will do the chain two. We're going to skip that chain one and the three double crochet we want to slip stitch into this chain one. Oops, I split my yarn there. There we go. Finish the round, you will slip stitch to our starting slip stitch. Round 10, I'm using my light color, the or the cream is suggested on the pattern. If you're continuing from where we left off, you will just chain three from there and work into the chain two space below. We can start with a standing double crochet if you wish, or join your yarn with a slip stitch and chain three. And then we're going to make three more double crochet in that same space. We want to skip this chain two from last round and double crochet into the first popcorn. So again, as we close that there, I like to go into what's called the eye of the popcorn and pull my loop through and finish the double crochet. And then in between the popcorns into the stitch where we worked the popcorns last time, we want to make an extended double crochet. So you yarn over, 
go into that stitch between the popcorns, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through one loop, yarn over, pull through two twice for an extended double crochet. And we worked that in front of the chain one that was between the two popcorns. We'll double crochet in the top of the next popcorn. Make another extended double crochet between the second and third popcorn in that same <clears throat> stitch that the popcorns are worked into, working in front of the chain one again. One, <clears throat> one double crochet in this next popcorn. and we'll skip that chain two and then working into this chain two space from round eight we're going to make seven double crochet one two three four five six and seven. Skip that chain two and then working our sets of double crochet in the popcorn. Extend a double between the popcorns into that single working in front of the chain one space and repeating that double crochet in the popcorn, extend a double between the popcorns, and double in the popcorn. And skip the chain two, and then working into that next space, we'll work those seven double crochet again. To continue that all the way around and I'll meet you at the end of this round. So after our final set of double crochet in the extended double crochets around those popcorns, we will skip those last chain two space and place three more double crochet in the same space as our starting stitches. and join to the top of our chain three or the standing double crochet if you started that way to end this round. A total of 96 stitches. Round 11, if you're continuing with the same color, you will just chain one where we left off and single crochet into that same stitch. <clears throat> if you are changing to a new color, you can single crochet in the middle of the group of seven, so in that fourth double crochet. We will start with a single crochet. We'll single crochet in the next stitch and skip two stitches. We skip two stitches and then we're going to make a puff stitch in each of the next five stitches. So we'll yarn over, insert, into the next stitch past the two that we skipped, pull up a loop for three loops on your hook, yarn over into the same stitch, pull up another loop, five loops on hook, one more time, yarn over into the same stitch, pull up a loop, seven loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through all seven, chain one to close, does not count as a stitch. We'll do four more of those. So yarn over, and pull up a loop three times in the next stitch. Pull through all seven loops, chain one to close. So it's three puff and we want a total of five.
and the last puff stitch. And chain one to close. Five puff stitches in a row. And then we'll skip the two stitches and we're going to single crochet in the next three. So that should be in the third, the fourth, and the fifth double crochet of that group of seven. And then we'll skip the next two stitches and start with those five puff stitches again. So you can go ahead and work that all the way around, joining, or I'll meet you just before the join at the end of this round. So when you've worked those puff stitches all the way around, after your last set of five, you will skip those two stitches and then we need to place one more single crochet in that last stitch before we join to our starting single crochet to finish this round. So there should be 64 stitches for round 11. If you're continuing with the same color, you will chain one where you left off and make a single crochet into that same stitch. If you're joining a new color, we just want to join to the middle of the set of three single crochets with a single crochet, or if you prefer, with a slip stitch, chain one and then single crochet. So we'll skip the next stitch, then we're going to work a back post double crochet around the puff. So yarn over, insert from the back around and back out to the back again, pull that loop up and finish the double crochet. One double crochet in the space between the first and second puff. Back post double around the next puff stitch. And then this time we'll make two double crochet in the space between the second and third puff stitches. So one and two double crochet back post double around that third puff. Two double crochet in the next space. Back post double around this fourth puff stitch. One double crochet in the space between the fourth and the fifth puff and a back post double around that last puff in that group of five. We'll skip the single crochet and single crochet in the next, skip the next, and then work that set of back post doubles and double crochets in between. Remembering we have two double crochet in the second and third spaces, one double crochet in the first and the fourth space. So you can go ahead and work that around and I will join you just before the end of this round. When you've worked your way around and you've worked those final sets of the back post doubles and double crochet between the puff stitches, we will simply join to our starting single crochet to end this round. Should be a total of 96 stitches. Round 13, if you're continuing with the same color, you will chain one and single crochet into that same stitch. If you're joining with a new color, we will just join with a single crochet in any of the single crochets. Then we will play, make a back post double crochet around the next five stitches. One, two, three, four, and five. And then in the next stitch, which should be the middle stitch of those back post double from last round, we will place five double crochet. One, two, three, four, and five double crochet in that middle back post double. And then back post double around each of the next five stitches. One, two, three, four, 
two, three, four, and five, which should be that last back post double from last round. And single crochet in the single crochet. And you can continue that all the way around, joining to our starting single crochet to end this round with 128 stitches. Round 14, we'll start with a chain three and make two double crochet into the same stitch. So if you joined a new color like I did, we want to make sure we're in the single crochet between two of the peaks. <clears throat> we'll skip two stitches and work shallow back post single crochet in the next 11. So skip those first two stitches underneath the top loops of the next stitch and out the top loops of the stitch after that to pull up your loop and finish a back post, the shallow back post single crochet. So that's one, two, three, Ten and eleven shallow back post single crochet. We'll skip two stitches in the next stitch, which should be that single crochet. We will work five double crochet. One, two, five double crochet. Then we'll skip two stitches again and work those 11 shallow back post single crochet and skipping two stitches at the end of those 11 before we do the five double crochet. So you continue to repeat that all the way around and I'll join you just before we end this round. So I finished my last repeat of those 11 shallow back post single crochet and we want to add two more double crochet to that starting stitch or to that in the same space as our starting stitches and then join to the top of the starting chain three to finish this round. Total of 128 stitches. For round 15, we're going to be using color beige is suggested. We are going to start shaping this into a square. So we will chain four from where we left off. And then into the next stitch, we will work two extended double crochet. So pull through one, then yarn over, pull through two twice. So that's one and I'll make one more extended double in that same stitch. One extended double in the next stitch. We'll skip two stitches and then double crochet into the next two. One and two double crochet. In the next stitch, we will place two doubles. One double crochet in the next. In the next stitch, we will work two half double crochet. One and two half double crochet and then half double crochet in each of the next three stitches. One, 
two, and three half double crochet. One double crochet in the next. For these next five stitches, we'll work a half double crochet in each. One, two, three, four, and five half double crochet. One double crochet in the next, half double crochet in each of the next three. One, two, and three. Two half double crochet in the next, one double in the next, two half double or two double crochet in the next stitch. We'll double crochet in the next two stitches, one and two. and skip two stitches. Then this next part is the beginning of the repeat. So an extended double crochet in that next stitch. I'm just gonna place a marker in that stitch so we know where the repeated part starts. Two extended double in the next. So one and two extended double crochet in that same stitch and we'll repeat that so an ex one extended double in the next stitch and two extended double in this next stitch so this one extended double in the center of this grouping here is the same as our chain four at the beginning. So everything past the center stitch will be familiar from what we worked. So we'll place one more extended double in this last stitch of this grouping. Skip two stitches double crochet in the next two, one and two, two double crochet in this next stitch. One double crochet in the next and then two half double crochet in the next. One and two half double crochet. Then half double crochet in the next three. One, two, and three. Double crochet in the next. Half double crochet on each of these next five. Two, three, four, and five half double crochet, one double crochet in the next. Half double crochet in the next three, one, two, and three, two half double crochet in the next. One double crochet in the next two double crochet in the next, double crochet in each of the next two stitches, and then you'll skip these last two stitches and then you're ready to start the repeated section again. You will do that a total of three times. So we've done one full repeat, you want to do it twice more, and I'll meet you at that point just to finish up this round. So I finished my three repeats, ready to finish up just this little bit here. 
we will skip those next two stitches, work an extended double crochet in that next stitch, and two extended double in the next. And then we'll slip stitch to the top of the beginning, chain four, chain four. So if you are continuing, or if you're using a color changing yarn, you will just continue from this point to let the colors change naturally. I'll be switching my yarn color periodically, and uh, you can follow along with me if you wish, or just let your colors flow naturally. 136 stitches. Round 16, we will chain four to begin. And in the same stitch, we're gonna place two more extended double crochet. And this will be the start of our corner. So we want these two extended double to be worked starting this first side. And in the next stitch, we will also place two extended double crochet. One, and two. In the next stitch, we will place one extended double, and two in the next. We will skip two stitches and then work the shallow back post single crochet for 23. So in through the top loops of the next stitch and out through the top loops of the next and complete a single crochet. So 23 shallow back post singles. I've done two, three, So 23 extend or shallow back post single crochet. We will skip these next two stitches and then working into the next we'll start with two extended double crochet. One and two and this is the start of our repeated section so I'm just going to mark that first stitch so I remember where my repeat starts. So two extended double in that stitch, one extended double in the next, and in the next stitch we will work two extended double crochet. We'll work five extended double into the next stitch to form our corner. So these first two finish off this side we were working. Then the third one is the corner stitch. Then I'm going to turn my work as these next two begin the new side and that just helps the stitches lay in the proper place in that stitch so the corners form nice and square. Two extended double in this next stitch. one extended double in the next and two extended double in the next. Skip two stitches and then we'll work those 23 shallow back post single crochet. and skip the last two stitches and ready to start our repeat again. So you can go ahead and work that all the way around. I will meet you just before we end our last repeat. So 
So I've worked my way around, ready to finish off this last little section. We'll skip those last two stitches, work an extended double crochet in that first stitch and a second one in that same stitch. One extended in the next and two extended double crochet in this next stitch. And then we want to add two more extended double to our first stitch. So we'll place one in that slip stitch join from last round and the second one in that same space. I pulled my tails through. There we go. In that same stitch as our first two extended double. Then we can go ahead and join it to the top of our chain four to close this round. So there's 152 stitches in total. Round 17 we will chain 4, place an extended double crochet in that same stitch to start the round. We'll double crochet in the next 37 stitches. One, two, three, four. So 37 double crochet, and that should take you just before that center stitch of the group of five extended double from last round. So in that center stitch, we will place two extended double crochet. Then chain two. And then we'll place two more extended double in that same stitch to begin working down the next side. So our corner has been created by that chain two space. And then start with those 37 double crochet again. And continuing that around. And I'll meet you just before the end of the round. So finishing up the final side here, we want to add a two more extended double into the top of the chain four from last round. To finish off this side and then for the corner space, we will chain one and then single crochet into the top of that chain four that we started with, and that creates our corner space. 164 stitches in total with those chain two in the corners. Round 18, we'll start with a chain three. Then we want to work a double crochet into this corner space. So it's working over that single crochet that we joined with the last round for our double crochet in the corner to start this first side. And then starting with this next stitch, which is that chain four from the previous round, we will double crochet in it and in each of the stitches down the side. So that will be 41 double crochet down the side and then I'll meet you at the next corner. So 41 double crochet across and into this corner space, we will then place two double crochet to end this, oops, there we go, two double crochet to end the side, chain two to form the new corner, 
and then in the same space we'll start with two double crochet for the start of the next side and then ready to begin our double crochet in each stitch across those 41 stitches with our corners two double crochet chain two two double crochet so you can go ahead and work that all the way around and I'll meet you just before we finish off the round so finishing up this round we want to place two more double crochet into that corner space from last round and then we will chain one and single crochet in the top of that chain four to form that new corner space. 180 stitches. Round 19, we will start with a chain three, and we will place a double crochet into this corner space, again working over that single crochet that we made to close the round. We will double crochet in each of these first seven stitches. One, two, six and seven double crochet. We'll single crochet in the next stitch. So we'll skip two stitches and we'll work a three double crochet cluster in the next. So that was yarn over like a double crochet, pull through two leaving two loops on the hook. Repeat that twice. So there should be four loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through all four loops for that three double crochet cluster. We'll chain one, work another cluster into that same stitch. Chain one and one more cluster into the same stitch. So three of those clusters with the chain one in between. We'll skip two stitches and single crochet into the next stitch. and double crochet in the next 17 stitches. One, two. So 17 double crochet, single crochet into that next stitch, skip two stitches and then we'll work that set of clusters again. So cluster, in that next stitch after skipping two, chain one. We'll work a second cluster, chain one, and a third cluster. Skip two stitches and place a single crochet in that next stitch and double crochet in seven. One, two. Six and seven double crochet. 
Then we're ready to work our corners. So we'll place the two double crochet in the corner, which finishes off this first side. Chain two for the corner. And then to start the next side, we'll place two more double crochet in that same corner stitch. And then we're ready to start down the side like we did the first side, starting with those seven double crochet, followed by a single crochet and the clusters and so on. So you can repeat that around all four sides and I'll meet you just before we end the round. So to finish this round we will make two more double crochet into the corner space, chain one and single crochet to the top of the chain three to form that corner space. One hundred and eighty stitches, sixteen chain one spaces, and the four chain two corner spaces. Round twenty, we will start with chain three and double crochet into that corner space, working over the single crochet we made to join last round. Double crochet in each of the first seven stitches. One, two, seven double crochet. We'll single crochet in the next stitch. So after our seven double crochet and the single crochet, we want to make a puff stitch. We're going to skip these two stitches and in the space between the single crochet and the first puff. In that space right here, we will work a puff stitch. So it's in the space between the single crochet and the cluster, we'll work a puff stitch. So we yarn over, insert into that space to pull up a loop about the height of a double crochet. Three loops on our hook. Yarn over, insert, pull up a loop. Five loops on our hook. Yarn over, insert, pull up a loop. Seven loops on our hook. Yarn over, pull through all seven, chain one to close. Then we're going to work a puff stitch in between the second and third, or the first and the second cluster in that chain one space. We'll work another puff stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop three times, yarn over, pull through all seven loops, chain one to close. We'll make a chain one and then a second puff stitch in that same space. chain one again. Then working in between the second and third cluster, we will work another puff stitch. Chain one to close, plus a chain one. And a second puff in that same space. And one more puff in between this last cluster and the single crochet in that space in between. Chain one to close. So we should have six puff stitches. Then we'll skip the next two stitches. This first one is hidden by the puff stitch. So we're counting the single crochet to skip and the next stitch, single crochet in the next. Double crochet in 13. One, two, 
and 13 double crochet. Single crochet in the next. We will skip these next two stitches and then working in that space between the single crochet and the first cluster, we'll work a puff stitch again. And then in between the first and second cluster, we will work a puff stitch. Chain one and a second puff stitch in that same space. Chain one and we'll work two more puff stitches in between the second and third cluster with a chain one in between. And one last puff stitch in between this last cluster and the single crochet. And then skipping that single crochet and the next stitch, single in the next, and double crochet in seven. One, two, seven double crochet. Then we're ready to work our corner stitches, so we'll place two double crochet in that corner space, which completes this side. Chain two for the corner, and then turning for the next side, we'll place two more double crochet in that corner space. I'm ready to start working our seven double crochet single crochet, skip one, and then those puff stitches. So you can go ahead and repeat that all the way around and I'll meet you just before the end of this round. So we'll finish the round in the same way as previous rounds, two double crochet in the corner space to finish this last side. And then for the corner space, we chain one and single crochet to the top of our starting chain. There should be 188 stitches with 24 chain one spaces and four chain two corner spaces. Round 21, starting with a chain three. We'll place a double crochet into this corner space, working over that single crochet join. Double crochet in the first seven one, two, three, six, and seven. Single crochet in the next stitch and then we'll skip those next two stitches. Around the top of this next puff, we're going to work a back post double crochet. So we yarn over, insert from the back in the space before the puff and around out the space behind the puff. Pull a loop through, yarn over, pull through two twice for a back post double crochet. We'll double crochet in the space between the two puffs. Back post double around the next puff. Yarn 
we'll double crochet twice into the space between the second and third puff. Back post double around the third puff, two double crochet into the space between the third and fourth puff. Back post double around the next puff, two double crochet in that space between the puff stitches. Back post double around the next puff, one double crochet in the space between those last two puff stitches, and back post double around this last puff stitch. So we're going to skip these next two stitches, single crochet in the next, and then we want to place a double crochet in each of the next nine stitches. One, two, three, eight and nine double crochet, single crochet in the next stitch, skip these next two and then we're ready to work at that back post double crochet again around the first puff, double crochet in the space, back post double around the next puff, two double crochet in the space, back post double around the next, two double crochet in the space, back post double around the next puff stitch, two double crochet in the space, back post puff or back post double crochet around the puff, double crochet in the space, and one last back post double crochet around that last puff stitch. We'll skip the next two stitches, single crochet in the next, and double crochet in the last seven. six and seven double crochet, which should bring us to our corner where we will place two double crochet chain two and two more double crochet in that corner space ready to start the next side with those seven double crochet and so on. So you can go ahead and work this all the way around and I'll meet you again at the end of the round. So as we finish up our final side we'll place those two extra double crochet in that chain space of the corner and finish with the chain one single crochet to the top of our chain three. Two hundred and thirty six stitches with those four chain two corner spaces. Round twenty two, we start with the chain three again and double crochet into this first corner space. And we'll double crochet in each of these first nine stitches. 
one two eight and nine double crochet working in the next two stitches we're going to make an extended double and a back post double crochet but we're going to join them together so we yarn over so we yarn over into the next stitch pull up a loop yarn over pull through one yarn over pull through two leaving those two loops on the hook yarn over then around the next stitch we go from the back around to the front back to the back to pull up our loop yarn over pull through two so you should have three loops on your hook yarn over pull through all three so an extended double crochet joined together to that back post double worked over two stitches back post double around the next stitch and then back post half around each of the next two so that's my first back post half double crochet and my second back post half double crochet then around the next three we will work back post single crochet that's two and three back post single crochet so in between these two double crochet the first one we just worked a back post single around we want to place a single crochet in between those two double crochet back post single around each of the next three the first one can be a little bit tricky there we go one two and three back post single crochet back post half double crochet around the next two so one and two back post double around the next stitch and then we're going to work a back post double and about and an extended double two together so we yarn over we start the back post double around the next stitch pull up a loop yarn over pull through two yarn over into the top of the next stitch we pull up a loop yarn over pull through one yarn over pull through two three loops on our hook yarn over pull through all three loops for that two together stitch double crochet in each of the next nine stitches one two eight and nine double crochet and then we're ready to work around this next group of stitches starting with that two together stitch so the extended double in the first stitch leaving two loops on your hook back post double around the next three loops on your hook pull through all three back post double around the next and back post half double crochet around each of the next three one 
I'm sorry, around each of the next two. Two back post half double crochet. I just need to try that second one once more. There we go. Back post single around the next three. One, two, and three. And then we want to place that single crochet in between these two double crochet. Back post single around the next three, being careful not to miss that one right by where we worked the single in between. One, two, and three back post single, then back post half double crochet, one, and two. Back post double crochet, then ready for the two together, starting with that back post double around the next stitch, leaving two loops on your hook, extended double in the next stitch, three loops, pull through all three. Double crochet in nine. eight and nine double crochet and ready to work two double crochet in that corner chain two and two more double crochet in the corner to start the second side So you can go ahead, repeat this all the way around, and again I'll join you just at the end of the round. When you come to the end of your last side, you'll place those two double crochet in the corner space, chain one, and then join with a single crochet to the top of our chain three to finish the round. 244 stitches plus those chain two corner space. Round 23, we will chain three, double crochet in that corner space. Then we'll double crochet in the first 17 stitches. One, two, three, 17 double crochet. Half double crochet in each of the next three stitches. One, two, and three. Double crochet in 21 stitches. One, two, three, 21 double crochet. Then we'll half double crochet in the next three again. And then double crochet in the, the last 17 stitches. Sixteen and seventeen double crochet. And then we're ready to work into the corner with those two double crochet. Chain two. Two more double crochet and ready to repeat around the other sides. So you can go ahead and do that. Once you get to the end of the round, 
You will place two more double crochet in the corner space, chain one, single crochet to the starting stitch as we have to end the previous rounds. Round 24, we're going to make a cluster <clears throat> into the corner space. So to do that, we start with a chain three, and then we'll make two partial double crochet and then pull through all three loops at the end. Chain one to close on the cluster. We'll chain one and make a second cluster in the same space. So one partial double crochet, two, and three. Yarn over, pull through four loops, chain one to close. We'll skip two stitches, single crochet in the next, and we'll double crochet in 26 stitches. One, two, Twenty-six double crochet. We'll single crochet in the next stitch and skip two stitches. In the next stitch we are going to make popcorn stitches. So a popcorn, remember, is worked with those five double crochets. Two, three, four, and five. Remove the loop from the hook, <clears throat> insert hook under the top loops of the first of those five double crochet, put the loop back on the hook, pull through, chain one to close. We'll chain one, make another popcorn in the same stitch. Five double crochet, remove the loop, insert in the first double, pull loop through. Chain one to close. We'll chain one again and make one more popcorn in that same stitch. It will get a little bit tight. One, two, Five double crochet and finish the popcorn with that closing chain one. So three popcorns in that same stitch, chain one space in between them. Skip two stitches, single crochet in the next, then we'll double crochet in 26. two, three, twenty-six double crochet, single crochet in the next, and we'll skip those last two stitches. We're ready to work clusters in the corner, so it's going to be a total of four clusters. So the clusters are those three partial double crochet, four loops on the hook, pull through all four, chain one to close. We will also chain one before we work next cluster. So that's two clusters, chain one, Starting the third cluster. Chain 
one and then we want one final cluster in this corner space. Oops. Four clusters in the corner space with a chain one in between them. And then ready to start down the side again with skipping two stitches. That first one is quite hidden, so we count the first one and the second one, single crochet in the next, and then working those 26 double crochet and the popcorn stitches. So you can go ahead and work this all the way around, and I'll meet you just before we join at the end of the round. So finishing up the last side, we will do those 26 double crochet, then single crochet, skip those last two stitches, and work two more clusters into the corner space. One cluster, chain one, and a second cluster. And then we won't chain after this one, we'll just work a single crochet into the top of our first cluster to finish off this round. Two hundred and forty four stitches and twenty chain one spaces. Round twenty five, we're going to start with a starting puff stitch. So we pull our loop up, yarn over, insert into that corner space, and pull up another loop. So three loops on our hook, yarn over into the space, pull up another loop. So five loops on our hook, yarn over, pull through all five chain one to close. We will chain one again. We'll work a puff stitch into the space between the third and the fourth cluster that's in this corner. So yarn over into that space, that chain one space between the clusters, five loops and seven loops on our hook. Yarn over, pull through seven, chain one to close chain one and then we want to make a puff stitch in, in the space that's between this last cluster and the single crochet. So making sure that we're not into the single crochet but the space between those two stitches will make a puff stitch. Chain one to close. We'll skip two stitches, single crochet in the next, and then work a double crochet in 22 stitches. Two, three, twenty-two double crochet, single crochet in the next stitch, and then we'll skip these two stitches before the popcorns. We're going to place two double crochet in this first popcorn. I find that sort of circle of the popcorn or the eye and insert my hook through that. One double crochet, two double crochet in that first popcorn. We're going to work an extended double crochet between these popcorns into the stitch that we worked the popcorn into. So we yarn over, insert into that stitch between the first and second popcorn, pull through one, pull through two twice for an extended double. Into the second popcorn we will place three double crochet. One, two, and three double crochet. I 
another extended double between the second and third popcorn into the same stitch the popcorns are worked into. And a two double crochet into the third popcorn. One, and two. We'll skip two stitches, single crochet in the next, and double crochet in 22. One, two, Twenty-two double crochet, single crochet into the next stitch, and we'll skip those last two stitches before the clusters in the corner. We'll make a puff into the space between the single crochet and that first cluster. Oops, so we yarn over, insert in that space, pull up a loop three times. Pull through all seven, chain one to close. Chain one, we'll puff in the space between the first and second clusters. Chain one, then in the space between the second and third cluster, we're going to make a puff stitch, chain two, puff stitch. So the first puff stitch in that corner space, chain two, and then working a second puff stitch in that same corner space. chain one, puff stitch in the space between the third and fourth clusters, chain one, and then another puff stitch in between the last cluster and the single crochet. Then we're ready to skip these first two stitches, single crochet in the next, work those 22 doubles, and so on around. So you can finish this round, I'll meet you just at the end. So as we finish up our final side, we will make that puff stitch in the space between the single crochet and the first cluster, chain one, puff in the space between the first and second cluster, chain one, and then we will add another puff stitch to that corner stitch, or the corner space. Close with a chain one, then we'll chain one, single crochet to the top of the starting puff to create that new corner space. Two hundred and fifty-two stitches, sixteen chain one spaces, and those four chain two in the corners. Round twenty-six, starting with a chain three again. We'll place two double crochet into that corner space that we created with the single crochet at the end of last round. We'll work a back post double crochet around the top of this puff stitch. Okay, so yarn over, insert from the back in that corner space and out to the next space around the top of that puff stitch. 
to complete the back post double crochet. Two double crochet in this chain one space between the puff stitches. And we'll do that again, a back post double crochet around this next puff stitch. Two double crochet into that chain space. Back post double around this last puff stitch. And in the single crochet, we're going to work an extended double crochet. And double crochet in each of these 22 doubles. So that's two, twenty-two double crochet. And then in this single before those popcorn stitches, we are going to make an extended double. Then working around these double crochet worked into the popcorn, we'll back post double around each of the next two stitches. The two that are worked into that first popcorn. So we did a back post double around each of those. Back post half double crochet, and then three back post single crochet. One, two, and three. And these three back post singles are worked around the three double crochet worked into that center popcorn. Back post half around the next stitch and back post double around the next two stitches. Extended double in the next stitch and double crochet in the next 22 stitches. One, two, Twenty-two double crochet, extended double in this single, and then we're ready to work around the corner stitches with that back post double crochet around that first puff, two double crochet in the chain space. Back post double around the next puff. Two double crochet in the chain space. Another back post double around this next puff. And then in this corner, chain two space, we will place five double crochet. So the first two are finishing up the side. So that's two double crochet. And then the third double crochet acts as our corner stitch. And then if we turn our work and place the last two double crochet, that helps to start the side and your stitches form a nice corner. Then continuing down this side, we'll do that back post double around the puff stitch, two double crochet in the chain space, and repeat back post double around the puff stitch, two double crochet in the chain space, followed by one more back post double. and then ready to work our extended double in the single crochet, 22 doubles, and so on. So you can go ahead and work this around all of the sides 
and I'll meet you just before we end this round. Finishing up this last side, we'll have worked the back post double around these puff stitches with the two double crochet in the spaces. Then we just need to add two more double crochet in this starting space. And slip stitch to the top of our starting chain three to complete this corner and the round. There should be a total of 304 stitches. Round 27, we'll chain two, and we want to make a back post double crochet around the same stitch. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two for that back post double crochet around that first stitch from last round. Then we want to work a back post double crochet around each of the next nine stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight, and nine back post double crochet. And working down the side, we will double crochet in the next 57 stitches. So 57 double crochet, which will take you just a little bit before the next corner, and I'll join you at that point again. So 57 double crochet takes you up to this first back post double around the puff from last round. So then we're going to make a back post double crochet around each of the next nine stitches. One, two, eight and nine back post double crochet which should take us to that center stitch of the group of five in the corner and we're going to work a back post double around that stitch and a half double crochet into the top of the stitch which can be a little bit tricky once you have that back post around it Try once more, I split my yarn, there we go, half double crochet in that same stitch, chain two, we'll place a second half double crochet in that corner stitch, and then one more back post double around that same stitch. So I'm just going underneath the loops of my first back post double, carefully drawing up that loop. So in the corner we have this back post double crochet, a half double, chain two, half double in the stitch, and another back post double crochet all around that center stitch from the group of five from last round. And then we'll work a back post double around each of the next nine stitches, ready to work down the side again with those 57 double crochet and the back post doubles around the corner. So you can go ahead, repeat that around, and I'll meet you just before the end of this round. So as you're finishing up your final side and come to where we started, we want to place another back post double around that starting stitch. around that middle stitch from last round, a half double crochet in the slip stitch that closed last round, 
then instead of the chain two corner space, we'll make a chain one, single crochet in the top of that beginning chain two to make the corner space. There should be a total of 316 stitches around and four chain two corner spaces. Round 28, we will start with a chain three and then we want to work a double crochet into that space that we created at the end of last round with the chain one and single crochet. So double crochet in that corner space after our starting chain three. Then we will work 72, sorry, 79 double crochet working into that first chain two for the first one and then in each of the stitches along the side for 79 double crochet and I'll meet you at the next corner. So 79 double crochet will take you into that last stitch just before our corner space. So we will place two double crochet in that corner space to finish off this first side chain two for the new corner, then starting down the side with two more double crochet in that corner space. So the corners are two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet. And then working in each of the stitches, be careful to work this first stitch, it's a bit hidden by the corner stitches, we will place 79 double crochet down each side. So you can go ahead working that all the way around and I'll meet you at our ending corner. So finishing up our final corner into that corner chain space we will add two more double crochet and then to make the corner space we will chain one single crochet to the top of that starting chain three to make the new corner. 332 stitches plus those four chain two corner spaces. Round 29, we'll start with that chain three and double crochet into that corner space. And then making sure we work the very first stitch we will place double crochet in each of the 83 stitches along the side. So 83 double crochet when we get to the next corner space we will make two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet in the corner. And then as we finish up our last round we'll finish the same way as last round. As we work our way down the last side, we'll finish the same way as we did last round with the two more double crochet in this corner space, chain one, single crochet to the starting chain three. There should be 348 stitches and four of those chain two corner spaces. Round 30, we will chain two and make a half double crochet into this corner chain space that we made at the end of last round. We're going to make a back post double crochet around each of the next three stitches. One, two, and three back post double crochet. Then we'll front post double crochet around this next stitch. Back post double crochet around the next nine. One, two, eight, and nine, oops. nine back post double crochet. Front post double around the next stitch. 
So we're going to work the set of nine back post double crochet plus one front post double crochet, a total of eight times. So I'll meet you after those eight repeats. We'll place a back post double around each of those last three stitches before the corner space. So one, two, and three more back post double crochet. And then in the corner space, we will work two half double crochet, chain two, and two more half double crochet. And then start this side with those three back post double and a front post double crochet and then ready for our repeats of nine back post double and a front post double. So you can continue to work this all the way around. I'll meet you just at the end of the round. When you've worked your way around, we will place two half double crochet in that corner space, chain one and single crochet to the top of our starting chain two to finish this round. 364 stitches plus the corner spaces. Round 31 we will start with a chain two and half double crochet into that corner space. Half double crochet in each of the first two stitches one and two half double crochet. Single crochet in the next stitch. We're going to skip these last two stitches before that first front post double crochet and we'll work five double crochet into that front post double. Two, three, four, and five double crochet. Skip the next two stitches and single crochet in the next. Double crochet in the next three. And single crochet in the next. We're going to skip two stitches and in this next front post double crochet we will make a popcorn stitch. Remember we make five double crochet for the popcorn. Remove the loop from the hook, insert in the first double crochet and pull that loop through. Chain one to close for our first popcorn. Chain one, then we'll work a second popcorn in this stitch. chain one again and make one more popcorn in this stitch for a total of three popcorns stitches, three popcorn stitches all worked into that front post double crochet stitch from last round. Skip two stitches, 
single crochet in the next, double crochet in three, single crochet in the next. Skip two stitches and ready to work that five double crochet in the next front post double crochet. And then repeat, skipping two stitches, single crochet, double crochet in three, and so on, alternating with these five double crochet and the three popcorns. So we'll do that a total of four times and I'll meet you at that point. So after the fourth repeat on the side, we will skip these two stitches and work those five double crochet in that last front post double of the side. So five double crochet, that's three, four, and five double crochet. Skip the next two stitches, single crochet in the next, and then half double crochet in each of these last two stitches before the corner space. And into the corner space we'll work the two half double crochet, chain two, two more half double crochet, and then ready to work down the next side. We're half double crochet in those first two stitches. The first one's a slightly hidden, so be careful to find it. Single crochet, skip two, then ready to start alternating those five double crochet with the stitches in between and the three popcorns. So you can go ahead and work this all the way around and I'll meet you as we finish off our last corner. So as we're finishing up this round, we want to place the two half double crochet in that corner space. We'll chain one and then single crochet to the top of the starting chain two to finish this round. Three hundred and eighty stitches plus the chain two corner spaces. Round thirty-two, we start with a chain two We'll place a half double crochet into this corner space. We'll half double crochet in the first four stitches. One, two, three, and four half double crochet. double crochet in the next stitch which should be the single crochet from last round and then we'll back post double crochet around each of these five double crochet worked into that same front post stitch. So five back post double crochet. One, four, and five back post double crochet. We'll double crochet in each of the next two stitches. And single crochet in the next. We're gonna skip these next two stitches and into the first popcorn we will place two double crochet. One and two double crochet in that first popcorn stitch. And we'll work an extended double between the two popcorns into that same stitch where we worked the popcorns last round. Into the second popcorn, we're going to place three double crochet. One, two, 
two and three double crochet. Then we'll work another extended double between the second and third popcorn into the top of that front post stitch where we worked the popcorn's last round. Two double crochet in this third popcorn. Skip these next two stitches, single crochet in the next stitch, double crochet in the next two stitches, and we'll work the back post double crochet around these next five stitches. and that takes us to where our repeat starts. So we will, in the next stitch, we will do these two double crochet, and then single into the next, skipping the stitches, working around the popcorn, skipping two stitches, single crochet, two double, and the back post, five double crochet. So from here to the end of the five back post double crochet, we want to do that a total of four times down the side. So we've done one repeat there, and I'll meet you after we finish those four. So when we've worked our way down the side, after our last set of five back post double crochet, we want to double crochet in that next stitch, which is the single crochet, and then half double crochet in each of the next four stitches. One, two, three, and four half double crochet. Then we're ready to work our corner two half double crochet, chain two, and two more half double crochet. Ready to start the next side with the half double crochet in the first four. Be careful to get that first stitch. It's hidden by those corner stitches. So half double crochet in four, double crochet in the next and then ready to work those five back post double crochet and then the rest of the stitches around the popcorns and down the side. So you can go ahead work that all the way around. I'll join you just at the end of the round. So as we're working our final side we have those last five back post double crochet, double crochet in the next and the four half double crochet then you want to place two more half double crochet in that corner space. Chain one, single crochet into the top of that chain two to form our last space of this round. You should have 396 stitches with those four corner spaces. Round 33 we will chain three and double crochet in that corner space we created with that single crochet last round. We'll double crochet in each of these first 14 stitches including that very first stitch. So one, two, three. Thirteen and fourteen double crochet. So in the single crochet, we will place an extended double crochet. 
we'll back post double crochet around each of the next two stitches one and two back post half around the next stitch which should be that extended double from last round and then we'll place a back post single around these next three stitches one two and three back post single back post half around that next extended double and back post double around each of those two double crochet Then we want to place an extended double crochet in that single and then double crochet in each of the next nine stitches. One, two, eight and nine double crochet and then we're ready to start that repeat again with the extended double crochet and the back post stitches extended double double crochet in nine so you can repeat that a total of four times we've done one full repeat so we want a total of four repeats down the side and I'll meet you there. We've worked those four repeats down the side ending with this double crochet in nine stitches. We want to place a double crochet in the remaining five stitches as well. One, two, four, and five double crochet. ready to work the corner which is two double crochet chain two and two more double crochet in that same space and then ready to start the next side with those 14 double crochet working those back post stitches and so on so you can go ahead and repeat all of that along the other sides and I'll meet you just at the end of this round. So as we're finishing up the round, we will have finished those double crochet down the side. We'll add two more double crochet into the corner space. And then to make that last chain space, we chain one single crochet to the top of our chain three. Four hundred and twelve stitches with the corner chain two spaces. The next six rounds, rounds thirty four through thirty nine, will all be worked in the same manner. So I'm going to show you for round thirty four how we will work that, and then I will just show the stitch counts after each round for you to continue and to finish those rounds. So we start simply with a chain three, double crochet in that same corner space. And then we want to work in each of the stitches, including the very first stitch, we want to work a double crochet in each stitch down the side. So double crochet every stitch down the side. When we get to the corners, we'll place the two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet in the corners. And then to end the round, we will need to place so two more double crochet in this corner space, chain one and single crochet to the top of the starting chain three. So you can go ahead and work these rounds all in that same manner and I will meet you in a little while.
Round 40, we will chain two and place a half double crochet into that corner space. We'll place a back post double crochet around each of these first three stitches. So three back post double crochet. One, that's two, and three back post doubles. We'll work a front post double crochet around the next stitch. And then we're starting our little repeated section, back post double crochet around nine stitches. It's two, three, eight and nine back post double crochet and front post double around the next stitch. So you will work that repeat the nine back post double and one front post double a total of 12 times and I'll meet you just before the corner. So after the 12 repeats, we're going to place a back post double crochet around each of these last three stitches of the side. One, two, and three back post double crochet. And then ready to work the corner, which is two half double crochet. chain two and then place two more half double crochet in the corner space. Remember we start with those three back post double crochet. One, two, and three back post double crochet and then a front post double and ready for the repeat back post double around nine, front post double around the next. So you can work that all the way around the sides and I'll see you at the end of this round. So finishing up the side, we will place those two half double crochet in the corner, chain one, single crochet to the top of our chain two to finish this round. There should be 524 stitches plus the corner spaces. Round 41, we'll start with the chain two and place a half double crochet into this corner space. We'll half double crochet in the first two stitches, being careful to get the very first stitch. One and two half double crochet. Single crochet in the next stitch. We'll skip the next two and then in the front post double crochet we'll make those three popcorn stitches divided by the chain one. Five double crochet, join back to that first double crochet, chain one to close for our first popcorn, chain one, make a second popcorn in the same stitch, chain one again and make a third popcorn stitch in that same front post double crochet.
we'll skip two stitches, single crochet in the next, and double crochet in the next three stitches. One, two, and three, double crochet, and single crochet in the next. We'll skip two stitches and then place five double crochet in that next front post double. One, two, three, four, and five double crochet. Skip two stitches, single crochet in the next, double crochet in the next three, single crochet in the next, skip two, and then we're ready to work those popcorn stitches in that next stitch again. So we've worked from that first set of popcorn stitches. We will repeat that six times and I will meet you at that spot. So after you have finished your six repeats, we're going to do one more set of those three popcorn stitches in that last front post double crochet. Then we'll skip two stitches, single crochet in the next, and place a half double crochet in each of the last two stitches. Which should bring us to our corner space where we will work the two half double crochet chain two and two more half double crochet in that same corner space. Ready to start working down the next side. We want to make sure those corner stitches don't cover the first stitch and place a half double crochet in that first stitch and the next stitch, single crochet in the next skip the two and then ready to work those sets of popcorn stitches. So you can go ahead and work this all the way around and I'll meet you at the end of this round. So we'll finish up this round with placing those after our last repeat of the popcorn stitches. We'll make the single crochet, two half double crochet in the last two stitches place two more half double crochet in the corner space and close around with that chain one single crochet in the top of the chain two to finish this round. There should be 556 stitches plus the corner chain spaces. Round 42 we will begin with the chain two and a half double crochet into that corner space. We'll half double crochet in the first two stitches. Single crochet in the next stitch. Skip two stitches and then we'll work two double crochet in that first popcorn stitch. and an extended double between the first and second popcorn stitch into that front post double where we made the popcorns. So an extended double in between those first two popcorns. Three double crochet in the next popcorn. and another extended double between the second and third popcorn. Down into that front post double where we made the popcorns. And two double crochet in the last popcorn.
We'll skip two stitches, single crochet in the next, double crochet in the next two stitches, which should bring us to that group of five double crochet, and we'll make a back post double crochet around each of those. one, two, three, four, and five back post double crochet. We'll double crochet in the next two stitches. And then ready to repeat again, starting with the single crochet in the next, skip the two stitches, and then placing those double crochets in the popcorn and the extended double in between. So we want to make this repeat here a total of six times and I'll meet you then just before the next corner. So when you've worked your way down the side we want to work those double crochet in the popcorn and the extended doubles in between the popcorns one last time skipping two stitches single crochet and then half double crochet in the last two stitches of the side. In the corner we will place two half double crochet chain two for the corner space and then two more half double crochet in the same space ready to begin the side with a half double crochet in the first two being careful not to miss that first stitch which can be hidden and single crochet in the next then we're ready to skip two work those double crochet and extended doubles and so on so you can go ahead and work that down and around all of the sides and I'll meet you at the end of the round. When you have worked around the blanket you'll do your last set of these double crochet and extended doubles around the popcorn stitches, skipping two stitches, single crochet, two half double crochet and then in the corner space you'll make those two half double crochet and do our join with the chain one single crochet to the starting chain. 556 stitches for round 42. Round 43 will start with the chain three and a double crochet into this corner space. We'll double crochet in the first four stitches of the side. One, two, three, and four double crochet. We'll place an extended double into this next stitch. and then work two back post double crochet back post half double crochet and three back post single crochet one two and three back post single and then reverse that at back post half double crochet and two back post double crochet. An extended double crochet in the next stitch and then double crochet in each of the next nine stitches. One, 
two. nine double crochet then we're ready to work that set again starting with the extended double and we'll do that a total of six times which should take us just before our next corner and I'll meet you at that point so as you've worked your way down the last or down the side um, you will want to do the one more extended double and work those back post stitches around this last set of popcorns or buy the last set of popcorns and then we'll place an extended double in that next stitch and double crochet in the last four stitches two three and four double crochet which takes us to our corner space and we'll work two double crochet in the corner space chain two and two more double crochet in that same corner space then we're ready to start working down the next side with the double crochet in four being careful to get that very first stitch which can be a bit hidden by these corner stitches and we will work that all the way around and I'll meet you at the ending so when you finish up the round, you will do those last few um, four double crochet, finish your corner with two double crochet in the chain space, do the chain one single crochet to your starting stitch to end this round. So if you're wanting to make your blanket larger, you will just repeat different sections. So you could start at round 44, you would repeat from round 34 all the way to 39, and then you would come back and do rounds 30 through to round 43 again. So you would repeat these rows of double crochet. You would repeat this section here, more rows of double crochet and round 43. So an ending round as a border could be round 43 as we just did or round 33 down here whichever one you would like to end on for a border if you wish to add your own border you can pick any row of double crochet and then work your own border around it so go ahead and finish your project as large as you would like to make it and enjoy